So, for the people looking at this video wondering <laughs> who the hell is this, can you please explain who you are and what you do? Okay, well, my name is Mike Millen Zedis Mabalega. I am a professional actor. Um, my acting um, skill spurred off from physical theatre. I mm. studied at the University of Pretoria and I've been at this for five years actually now. For five years? Yeah. Okay, so, so where do you act? Because I haven't seen you in generations, I haven't seen you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing that happens when you're coming up. Uh, my background basically spurred off from theatre, so that's where my biggest support system is, physical theatre. And okay. well, I've re recently what you'll see me in as is the face of Clip Drift. Um, I'm that guy that your mother will laugh and be like, yeah, I'm that guy, that guy. Okay. And yeah, from there on, yeah, I went and did another Suzuki ad. But mm. most of the characterization, you know, all the deep, meaningful characters you play are mostly based in theater. Okay, so, so my next question is, obviously, you, 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 you've been to school for this. Mm. You're trained. You said that it's hard for, for, for young people to kind of get these jobs. Mm. So now, how do you feel about, um, it was, I think it was announced this week that um, MT, who's untrained, who's not an actor, is set to star in one of South Africa's biggest soapies, Movango. Eh. <laughs> is this the first time you're hearing about this? Yes, actually it is. It is. It is. <laughs> I didn't, I, 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 I know, right? Like, <laughs> I think it was also the the the, the, the I forget his name now. Um, the, the the guy who acts in Istingo as as the pastor. Uh -huh. He he won multiple awards. Yeah. He kind of bemoaned the fact that now it seems like the the era of celebrity is kind of taking over the acting industry, mm -hmm. and people are kind of forgetting what it is to be an actor and they come with huge egos and and they don't really even have that work ethic. Yeah, that's 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 that's. So how do you feel when you see that, when they're like, no, no, you know, just wait your turn and then something like that happens? <laughs> <laughs> you know, also give me a pen, let me write Graba Fasa Baba Let's and I'll do my audition. Uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've got a bit to say. True emotion, right? I, 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 I've got a bit to say because one, as an, as, as actors, as 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 one acting industry, we've also had a problem with um, um, people have been untrained and people have been trained. Mm. So there's always been that denomination of you know there's people who've actually gone to study this, but then there's people who haven't, and then they get a chance, and then they end up having a scoring thing. Then you're sitting there like. But guys, I've spent money and mm, time mm. to put and develop someone. Like I've, I've, I've acknowledged the fact that I'm not good enough for this craft. So I'm going to look for someone else to tell me about that. Mm. And then, you know, there's someone else who does work, an untrained eye who comes in, he nails it and gets the job. Mm. And there have been measures that have been made to try and um, make the playing ground a little more fair for actual people who've given more time into the craft. Like, for instance, in auditions, um, um, they are character or agents and they are um, acting agencies. And one, they'll make um, uh, uh, actors be called on request, so mm -hmm. they won't have to stand in like a long line of queues and whatnot. Whereas other character agents, we don't have like necessarily qualifications for this, and they just want like, let me just see if I can get some money off it, just chance. Mm -hmm. They will, they will have like a cattle call. They'll come and they'll line up. They'll, they'll line up. There's a, there's a, I would say a better treatment of the people who are actually qualified, but there is. Okay. That's generally it. Now you're telling me now there's a celebrity dom that's coming on. That's. I mean, that's, you've that's, noticed this. Yes. Mm. And uh, I spoke to one of my colleagues as well as a Melbourne actor who's now based in America and asked him about the industry there and he actually made a very valid point in that South Africa here, um, or at least in Africa, the, the value of someone or, or, or performer is, 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 is classified by how many followers they have on Twitter, how much of a celebrity they are. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a big, big following, but then in America they'll take that into consideration but then they also find out what other things do you get involved in? Like, mm. are you just a person who's just known for being able to put a full stop on Twitter and just press send? Because <laughs> that's basically what it is. And, and, or are you someone who's like, you know, um, I go out and make an outreach. Do I go out and teach people something? Or do I, mm. you know, what is it? What development am I giving to the world besides? If I'm not an actor, what am I? That's basically the question you want to ask. If I'm not an actor, if I'm not a musician, if I'm not an accountant, what am I? Mm. Because you're not defined by your your career, you have to be something else. The career kind of meshes together and gets you to develop to something else. And now, in the situation where the industry we have is, 
if you're not a celebrity, then what are you? Mm. That's what I'm looking at with this thing. Where I'm like, <laughs> I think I should just delve into hip hop as well. Still some, still some jobs as well. See how far we can go with that. Anyway. So, but, but what, 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 are, what are your thoughts on it? What do you, do you, do you, are you just accepting it? Is it? I mean, are you? Well, I, I, are you still I, in a state of shock right I, now. I, I, I'm giving the person who, who, who hired him the benefit of the, of the doubt mm. because I feel like he had some sense in doing that. Mm. I mean, he had his own diver. He had his own goals when he was when he had that, and you can't you can't you can't hate on someone for doing that. I mean, mm. at the end of the day, it's it's yeah, it's how he's 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 doing what he's doing, promoting his brand, and if that works for him, that works okay. for both parties involved. Okay. I can't be on the sideline going, ah, I want to be in Mubango, but I can't <laughs> speak Venda for sure. Yeah. So I can't be on the sideline complaining. He got his opportunity uh, via this, 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 and it's it it does work out how you know some way if you're a hip hop artist, it kind of meshes. If you're another artist, I mean, look at for instance, uh, 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 Will Smith mm. began with hip hop artist, then moved on to have an acting career and the okay. whole kind of thing. Yeah, Jeff Boyce. So, yeah, so I, I, I'll 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 say I'm still in shock. I have not seen him. I, I can't I can't say I've seen him in an yeah. acting thing. I, I I don't know. So but at this yeah. point, if you're giving him the benefit of the doubt, you want to see what Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, let, let him prove me wrong. Let mm. him prove me wrong. Mm. Maybe he has a skill. I haven't seen, maybe he has a skill for performing in, in, in television. Let's see. If he does, then I'm a man. Go nail it. At least someone else is doing it. If you're going to make a good job of it, do it. Do it properly.